Good day everyone. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today we're going to practice problems in placing figures in coordinate plane. So let, this will be part one. So let's proceed now. So this is this are the problem. Problem number one. Give the coordinate points of M and P using and without using any new variables. So in this in this tutorial we're going to find the the coordinate midpoints of this of these two points. So we know that point O is zero comma zero. Now to give you uh, to give the coordinate points of P, we need to remember that this is a square, meaning it has same si same sides, same measurements of sides. So if this one, if O N if n has a mesh as a coordinate of o n, therefore we can simply assume that the measurement of o n is a. So this should be the measurement of this should be a as well. This is a as well, and this is a as well. Now, given the coordinate points of o, which is zero comma zero, so the coordinate of y for p should be zero as well, because they lie on the same y-axis. Now. So now the, our problem is what is the coordinate of what is the x coordinate for p and that this would give us an idea and that would be a because from o to p should be a because this is a and this is a square so that gives us a o now since we have the coordinates of n and p we can now easily find the coordinate of m and this should be the x coordinate of p which is a and this should be the y coordinates of n, which is a as well. So this m has a coordinate of a comma a. Number two, give the coordinate points of m and p without using a, any new variables. So by looking at it, we can assume that the center is the origin. So this will be zero comma zero, since uh, this is a rhombus. So meaning the side should be equal to each other. Now, if it is a rhombus, the the diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. So, this is the, so these are the diagonals, this one and this one. So they bisect each other at zero comma zero. So if they bisect each other, we can say that the measurement of L is equivalent to the measurement of the uh, uh, the measurement of this is equivalent to the measurement of this. So this should be equal to each other. So let's, let's find the measurement of this. The measurement of this says that it is it measures H. So this one should measure H as well. So if we're going to get the coordinates of L, we will be using, it has the same coordinate of, X coordinate of the origin. So it, it will be 0, comma blank. Now to get the measurement of the coordinates, the y coordinates of this, this should be equal to h. Since it is below the the origin, this should be negative h. So that's why we have that coordinate for L. On the other hand, on the M, so this one is congruent with this one. So if the measurement of this is k, because that from here to here. Uh, it has a measurement of k. So from here to here, it should, it should have the measurement of k as well, but in negative because it's in the left of the origin. So we have negative h, negative k o. So that will be our our midpoints, our coordinate points, our coordinate points for m and p. This should be l and m. L and m. Okay, sorry for that. Moving forward. Now, so what's the coordinate of M in this point? That never mind this example. Never mind this question. We just asked to find the measurement of M. This is an isosceles trapezoid, meaning that the measurement of this one, this one, and this one are congruent to each other. And this one and this line are parallel to each other. Now, what are if we find the coordinates of here? Our basis here is this this point. So since the value of y here coordinates here is c, so the value of y here should also be c because they are in a, in a straight line. 
they they share the same y coordinates now since this uh, this figure was placed at the at the center and this negative a and positive a proves that because if we get the midpoint of this two it will be this one that will be zero comma zero so that's why it is in the center now to find the the x coordinate of m we need to get the measurement from here to here and that is b so this also it measures b but in a negative in negative form because it's in the right of the because it's in the second quadrant so th that's why our coordinate for that is negative b comma c c from here to here measures b from here to here measures b as well so that will be our answer Lastly, so this is a rectangular RICO. So let's find the coordinates, uh, the missing coordinates. Uh, that just don't mind the, the problem. Uh, I forgot to, to edit that. So we can say that this will be our coordinates. So all we need to do is to focus our attention here. So this, so this is 0, 0, as I stated, because this is the origin. Now, to get the measurement of this, so they share the same y, y axis, that is 0, the y coordinate is 0. Now, since the x coordinate here is a, and this is a horizontal line, so this is also a. a. So in this one, they share the same x coordinate, that's why it's, it's 0, and share the same y coordinates with e, that's why it's called b. So that would be our answer. Next, in this one, again, don't mind this. Let's check all the, the coordinates here. So this is 0, 0. This is negative A, B. This is A, negative B. And this is negative A, negative B. So this is a circle. This is a rectangle that is placed at the center of the, the Cartesian plane. Now let's go with the parallelogram. So we, are, we already tackled that this, the measure of this, the coordinate of this is A plus B comma C. Okay. Now for our last example, last example, let's L, this should be 0, comma B, same Y axis, same as the origin. L will be the origin, and D will be negative A, comma 0. So same, same X coordinate with this, and same X, Y coordinate with this. This will be negative K, 0. So this is the center, I saw this triangle, so this is the center, so this is negative K, comma 0. Just the negative value of k. So this is part one of practicing how to place figures, of practicing problem involving placing figures in a Cartesian plane. So let's wait for part two. And thank you for staying tuned. So goodbye.